guys, today I am doing a book haul. So today I am hauling some books and it's another edition of new releases, sequels and some books that I love but didn't own yet. Also, it has the most beautiful book ever in it. I am not fucking kidding. I bought the most beautiful book on earth. <sighs> Let's just get into it. So first I bought The Witch Hunter and The Kingslayer by Virginia Baker. Finally! As you might know, I reviewed The Witch Hunter on NetGalley last year and it turned out to be one of my favorite books of 2015. And The Kingslayer came out in June and now I own both. I really, really love this duology and it has such beautiful covers. I just can't. It is so gorgeous. I'm so glad I finally own this so that when I talk about these in my tags and such I can show them and I just had to own them. I just have to. Next I have This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. This is another book that I have already read but it's also kind of a new release. I've read the UK edition on my Kindle in June because it came out earlier than this US version but of course I needed the physical version because Victoria Schwab is my favorite author because this book was amazing and is already on my favorites list of this year and it's so pretty. But yeah, I read this in June. I really, really loved it. Another great Victoria Schwab book with great world building, great characters and just great overall kind of dynamics between the characters and such. And I'm actually looking forward to rereading this, I guess, probably still sometime this year and read the actual physical book, which, you know, sometimes is just greater <sighs> than reading the Kindle. But Kindles come at midnight when you pre-order them, so. And I just bought The Last Star by Rick Yancey, which is the third and final book in the Fifth Wave trilogy. And I've read the second book, The Infinite Sea, for Booktubeathon and ended up enjoying it a lot more than I had expected. And so I just wanted to get my hands on the third book ASAP. I know some people liked it, I know some people loved it, I know some people didn't enjoy it at all, but since, you know, I was so pleasantly surprised with The Infinite Sea, I'm so looking forward to this. This. and it's not that long it has like I think 360 ish pages I just also absolutely love these covers I don't think it's quite as cool when you just look at them in a video but if you see them in real life and you can touch them it's such a buttery feeling I know everyone laughs at me for calling it buttery but that's literally how it feels I just oh my god and now you guys are you sitting down? Are you sitting down? Do you have something to drink, something to eat? You need to be really strong for this fucking beautiful book. <laughs> it is On the Other Side by Carrie Op Fletcher. Most of the people following me on Twitter will not be surprised. And I think most of you will look at this now and be like, yeah, that's a pretty nice cover, but why is she freaking out that much? Okay, so let's just, you know, let's just look at it a bit more detailed just there's these kinds of little details and since I've already read the book I know that all of these details are important to the story which is great and by the way I mean I don't want to say too much but watch my July wrap up to see how much I love this book and how great it was so it's not only beautiful on the outside it is beautiful on the inside as well but the back is also really really pretty and the spine is also really really pretty it looks great, you know? It looks great, it's a beautiful book. What can you say? Are you fucking kidding me? Look at this. When I looked at this, I thought I died and gone to heaven. I love this. It's really like smooth and, oh, and it has this really great purple color and now comes for me personally probably the best thing since I'm a fan of Carrie Op Fletcher for so long 
I remember her doing her videos in her old room at her parents' house. She is one of my favorite people out there and she's such an inspiration to me. And on the back she has her kind of hopeful sign. We have this kind of thing where she kind of said that sometimes at meetups and such she's really like scared that she, you know, hugs someone that does not want to be hugged because there's many people out there that don't really want that but she's a hugger. And so we had this kind of pinky thing. Every time we see her that we could just, you know, give each other the pinky. And so it is kind of her sign now and also it has sometimes happened that in crowds that people hold up their pinkies. For example, when Emma Blackery shaved her head, Carrie Fletcher like tweeted out to, you know, all the hopefuls to hold up their pinky fingers and kind of support Emma. I'm actually getting goosebumps right now because She's an inspiring person and the whole community is very inspiring. So it made me so happy to see this kind of appreciation of her online community on this book. Blows my mind. And if this wasn't already enough when it comes to beautiful and such, it's also really pretty on the inside. So honestly, you guys, I do not know what the fuck to say. Overall, even inside the book, there's changes in font to kind of make some changes in time and perspective kind of don't want to spoil anything but there's kind of changes in font to make these things clear there's really nice chapter headers there's sometimes little like not photos but you know when someone wrote a note for example you kind of have the note printed in the book <sighs> oh my god i just seriously am so freaking happy that I bought the hardcover of this book. I'm seriously impressed with this design, just as I am with the actual content. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so this was my book haul. Let me know if you've read any of these books or just gush with me about the beautifulness that is on the other side. And as I said, it is a beautiful book on the inside. So if you're drawn in by the cover and you like magical realism, that's really important. If you don't like that, don't read it. That Then it's gonna be really weird for you. But if you like magical realism, go and pick this book up. Just add it to your collection. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching and I guess I'll see you soon. Bye.